To break the ice, could you please introduce yourself? Tell us who you are and what do you do? I'm Antonio Mutadas, uh, an artist. I work with uh, methodology that of Del Proyecto. I think it's uh, the philosophy behind is I believe not in works, but in projects. And for projects needs time and process. I think the two parameters are important. I always think that the projects are the, like the wine in its time. As much time you give to a wine, it's better. And process because I never work in a kind of immediate situation. I develop a project starting from idea, initiating a process, and this process brings to, to understanding the context, to understanding what the project is about, and in certain moment of the end, you choose the medium. You consider if it's a series of photographs, of a video production, of an internet project, a publication, or intervention in the street, in case if it's public work. And, and this is also the way how I'm teaching for 40 years in MIT and now in Venice in the School of Architecture. The course is methodology of the project. I think the evolution of public space made um, the relationship between private and public is difficult. I think uh, these days you are confined in your house, your studio, your place you work, and it becomes a public space because you have a camera, and maybe via Skype or Zoom or any kind of uh, uh, platform, you become public like that. The extension of private space with the certain technology makes that this we are sharing a space but we are losing the immediate contact that i think is what we are considering public space public space is a squares is uh, the street the places where you could exchange, you could relate. I think a lot of the situation public space in the last years also is being changed for the fact that a lot of the public space become very privatized by economical reasons. Like that is a several paradox function in relationship with public space. The paradox the public become private places where people are benches and unrest and talk and that become the extensions of bars, cafes, where you need to pay for it, like that. This is diminishing the public space. The other part is diminishing public space is technology, the surveillance systems, the control, the cameras. We are not in a free space. We are under surveillance. Like that, these two things, the privatization and the surveillance, make the, the definition of public space shrinks and becomes another thing. I think it's good to have the, the situation of the contact, direct contact, and the virtual contact. If you limit it only to the virtual contact, you're losing a lot of experience than our generation we have. The increasing power of technology is uh, non-stop. I think uh, 
It's a project I've been working for many years, since 52. Political advertisement, 52. This is the 12th, but every four years, we are preparing the project for 2020 in the United States. Every four years, we overview the presidential campaign ads. And to see, since 52 to 2020, how technology and how image making has been evolved. It evolved like any kind of advertising systems. Like that, through this project, you are very aware the increasing force of the and the amount of money the people spend in advertising for political reasons. In the beginning, advertising it was information, informed to the products. Now, not informed, seduction to the products. And a candidate, a political candidate, it could be like a product. The President of the United States, it could be choose like any commercial product. What role plays technology in your work, in your creative process? Well, technology is techne, the Greek uh, name of technology. Techne is tools, instruments. I think we sublime the idea of technology when any tool, any instrument is technology. It's for that I always considering when people say relationship art and technology, it's always this relationship. Any medium use, you know, every, if you are working from the artist's perspective, you use techne, you use the medium, the, you can see it's important for you to work. These days, you related art and technology in a way that I think it's supposed to be related art and science. You could connect it art and science because art and science and ways of thinking, way of knowledge, and technology is the application of this through the certain instrument. In a way, I will say the relationship of art and science is very important in terms of interdisciplinary project. I think as people use mathematics, physics, chemistry, nuclear uh, energy developments, other artists, in my case, use social science, anthropology, psychology, or I would say psychology, anthropology, and sociology as a part of the interdisciplinary interrelation. I think it's certain choices here, and of course, the technology comes after to express by communication systems the way how your project is developed. Like that, I think it's a lot of confusion on vocabulary and how we use the term art and technology and how the mythification of the term is unclear. I think it's better to talk art and science, art applied with technology, etc., etc. Thank you.